Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and today I'm going to give you a quick tip of how you can spray at difficult angles and even spray upside down. You can see in this picture, you can't really see the spray real good in this photo, but I am spraying upside down. Now, you may be asking yourself, why in the heck would I need to spray upside down? Well, you know, on cars, there are so many different angles that are hard to get. For example, uh, underneath the rocker panels, to, to properly cover that, you know, the uh, gravity feed guns, it's hard to get that angled right to where you cover the bottom section of that rock are good. Another example is bump, bumper covers. There are so many different angles and uh, you know sometimes you may have to spray upside down or all different angles you know to get that covered well. Well this uh, PPS cut from 3M makes it easy to uh, do that but there's something you gotta do in order to be able to you know spray from these different angles. You know you have to collapse the cup first or else you know it's not gonna do that. And the way you do this is, you know, you fill your cup with paint, put your lid on, and then you put your gun on. Now, before you ever put the uh, gun upright, you have to uh, collapse the cup, and you do that by fully pressing the trigger. And that'll suck all the air out of the cup. Then, whenever you turn it upright, you can spray, or from any angle. And I'll show you a demonstration of how to do that. Okay, you can see here I got my gun and the cup and I turn the guns upside down and put the cup on and I'm just demonstrating how to put that on it goes on and twists now before you turn it upright you want to fully press the trigger and that's going to suck all the air out so all the air is now out now you can see that I can spray from any angle Now I'm just going to shoot a little test pattern to show you how this gun is uh, shooting or how a pattern should look. You want a nice wide pattern that's even. It's not heavy on top or bottom or heavy in the center or on both ends. Just a nice even pattern. And that's just a quick spraying tip I thought I'd share with you. Now, if you've been using a 3M PPS, you know, I'm sure you already know that trick. But I thought, you know, if you're a DIY that has never used these and you go and purchase some, or if you're, you know, someone's just buying them for the first time, you may not know that. So I thought I'd share this with you. And uh, so you can get the full benefit of using these cups. Anyway, I, uh, thanks for watching this video. Appreciate you watching these. And uh, be sure and subscribe to this channel and share this with your friends. Talk to you soon.